But first, here tonight at 10, friends and family gather to remember that woman killed in Sunday's murder-suicide outside a family dollar store in Dayton. Police say 62-year-old Dennis Hagen shot and killed 45-year-old Donna Brown before turning the gun on himself. New at 10, 2 News reporter Kristen Escow live outside the Dayton Police Department after speaking with Brown's family and friends. Hey, Mark and Brooke, big crowds turned out tonight to remember Donna Brown just about 24 hours after this murder suicide. Tonight, many people telling me they're still in shock and feeling numb over what's happened. The balloons are pink and white, the two favorite colors of 45 year old Donna Brown, who was killed here a day earlier in a murder suicide. We've just all been numb, just trying to, you know, come to, just come and, just come to reality of what happened. People here say Brown was known to many in the community. A mother, grandmother, and lifelong resident of Dayton, she spent the past four years working as a cook and bartender at Club Aces. He was addicted to her cooking. No matter what she cooked, whatever, beans, greens, tomatoes, you name it. You just could not ask for a better friend, and all of these people will attest to that. Police say Brown obtained a protection order against the alleged gunman two days before the shooting. Police say the two had been in a relationship for several years. I'm still in shock, to be honest. Um, it bothers me. Um, it, I didn't want that to happen to nobody, but she definitely didn't deserve it. Workers at Club Aces say they have a fundraiser planned Tuesday night to help Brown's family with funeral expenses. Family members say they're grateful for the support they received from the community. She did a lot for the community herself in her own right. You know, this didn't surprise me because, you know, the, the heart that she had. And police say the alleged shooter had been ordered to turn in his guns to police. Now, police tell us they are looking through records to see if the two who died had any previous interactions with law enforcement. We're live tonight in Dayton. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.